first of all, I don't expect to pay the NAR CEO two and a half million dollars as a salary, let alone flipping the bill on $75,000 for a country club. So you can have three country clubs, one in Maryland, one in DC, one in Chicago. This is Byron Lazine and Nicole White, and you are tuned into episode 344 of The Real Word. Word is up. Nicole, sometimes, and we decided to record early this week, usually record Tuesday morning. We're recording yes. Monday uh, afternoon because I have a vacation I'm going on that I do every single year the week before Thanksgiving. And sometimes right before you're about to record, you just get a gift from the headline gods. They hand it. It's so funny. I feel like this is like my, my husband calls it a, a shit sandwich because yesterday you were like so kind of nice and positive and optimistic, even like more so because like you even wanted to like engage and get involved. And now we're getting to like the middle. <laughs> and Next week we'll have to end the, the sandwich with like a nice like. The middle gets messy. Yeah. I mean, I, I, said, it, I said it last week on The Real Word, and I've talked about it, I think, on Knowledge Brokers Pod. Unless you knew the perks, which is why you wanted to get involved. Well, I knew there was I knew there was excess when you look at, and we've covered the salaries and all of that. I didn't know yep. this level of excess. I didn't know the specifics of, I mean, I know, look, when you look at the face of things and you spend National Association of Realtors, when you spend $50 million on commercials that don't work and you look year after year, the same media group uh, tends to get this contract. You're like, wow, th this is just outrageous. But when you get into some of the details like the New York Times has now, and so what are we talking about? New York Times just released an article this uh, really at noon. I think it was 1230 today, 1246. 1130. 11.30 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how many minutes? Uh, 11.30 a.m. on Monday, November 18th. The headline is chauffeured cars and Broadway tickets inside the National Realtors Group, referring, of course, to National Association of Realtors, which I remind everyone is a nonprofit trade organization. Uh, New York Times now reporting that the trade organization is offering lavish perks and payouts to its executive staff and leaders. Specifically, uh, at the top of the article, they're referencing Bob Goldberg. Bob Goldberg, former CEO, now Nikea Wright, is the CEO. Uh, Bob, when he became the chief executive, uh, this was seven years ago, negotiated a package of gold-plated perks. Okay, not gold plates, but gold-plated perks. It could be in there too, we don't know. Could have some gold bars. Okay. If you were at I mean, if you were at Band Mania and joined us for the party at the Legacy Club, you know all about gold bars. There's a whole bunch of gold bars in the Legacy Club. Uh Goldberg Goldberg might have these in his in his pocketbook. Okay. N A R oh, now he has a pocketbook too. He might, it's probably like a like a Louis Vuitton or something. He might have a really nice one. He might have a mm -hmm. real nice pocketbook. Or his wife. At this rate, he has some membership dues that were being paid by NAR. Listen to this. Uh, the trade organization agreed to cover Mr. Goldberg's membership dues for private clubs in both Chicago and Washington. Obviously, NAR has a presence in both of those cities. Uh, this would be private clubs and a country club of his choice. This would include an initiation fee of up to $75 thousand dollars. So this was seven years ago. I mean, since COVID, you have some initiation fees at country clubs that have really ballooned. But seven years ago, $75,000 initiation fee will get you into a pretty nice club that that was that was going to get you somewhere that 75k. It, right. it still gets you somewhere today, but maybe not. It certainly should get it should get you somewhere today. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I could imagine if they were asking 75 in Chicago or Washington, you know, it's probably 150 now. Anyways, uh, these clubs, he would use all three clubs. He wanted three clubs, okay? Primarily, Nicole, primarily for business purposes. Of course. I mean, all of my all of my vacations are 
biz- our business trips. So, well, I get how. <laughs> what what could you imagine, Goldberg? Listen, I mean, right now the current. If it, well, I won't beat up on the current CEO, but l- when we just think back to Bob Goldberg's time, yep. Um, you never really heard from him all that much. He wasn't public facing. He didn't lead from the front. I have some of the same complaints or feedback for current CEO, you know, kind of some canned conversation. Don't really hear from her. She did one pod with, um, James Dwiggins and it was, it was very vanilla. Um, you know, and, and listen, I, I'm going to do a couple pods with, with James. I'm thinking we're gonna have him on, uh, knowledge brokers maybe, or, or, or some type of one-on-one pod and I may go there, but, um, the questions were very easy. It was kind of like more of her background. And so right. I haven't really heard from her who she is, how she wants to lead uh, this organization. And that certainly was the case with Goldberg. And yet, so it's like, who are you bringing to the, to the country club? You're not even willing to speak to your members directly, you know, virtually or, you know, through a podcast. Who, who are you bringing to the club? Right. Fitty, you bringing Fitty to the club? Uh oh. I mean, who's coming to the club? I mean, and it's business purposes, like for not a not for profit. Like, what are the business? What are the business dealings? Like, was it brokers? Who do you think it was? I can't even imagine. Uh, as well as these country clubs, the group NAR would also pay for first class airline tickets when he traveled for business, uh, and once a month for round trip first class tickets for his wife what does she have to do with anything i mean where are you going once a month i just said i'm like is your wife go anywhere once a month i mean where are you going once a month i'm on the road every i know you're on the road week it seems and she's are you first class it depends if i get the upgrade it depends (laughs) depends who's paying too but listen but you would leave your wife in the back like you would totally do first class without her uh, I don't think I've actually ever done that. Not to say I would be opposed no? to it. I wouldn't be opposed to that. If there was one <laughs> ticket, if there was one ticket, somebody <laughs> had to take it. Uh, you know, you would, you would, you would get it, and she wouldn't. I'm not opposed to sitting in first class yeah. if the ticket has my no. name on it. Oh, I don't know many people that are opposed to it. Yeah. What mm-hmm. What I am opposed to is NAR dues going towards lavish wife's expenses ticket. yeah i actually don't and it's round trip too it's a round trip ticket it's well, not just like you're there you know i'll tell you what i actually don't if he's got travel it's going to get reimbursed you know if it's business travel i don't have a huge deal with the first class tickets i'll be honest with you i really don't um the fact though that he was given a 1500 monthly car allowance 1500 hundred monthly car what what is he driving what well what kind of car it's like that? a you're you do i mean for fifteen hundred dollars you're like probably like i mean any luxury car you know what i mean an audi would probably you know even a bmw i mean is that what a car costs fifteen hundred a month uh, yeah you could spend that very easily wow. yeah you can even lease a car for fifteen hundred dollars yeah that's easy i'm sure yeah you yeah. can do anything but wow that's crazy yeah. no but you could yeah i mean you could easily yeah no, no like the reason the first class thing don't really mind if he's going somewhere on business, I want him to be fresh. I want him to be sharp. I want him to, you know, as the CEO. Of well, and that's part of the job. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. You know, so all that yeah. kind of, but your wife, I don't know what value she's bringing. You need an emotional support human, not an emotional support dog. You need your wife there. Uh, that's a little stretch, man. Come on. You're, you're supposed to be, you know, working on the business. I don't think we need to pay for, the wife, the $1,500 monthly car allowance, that's ridiculous. $2,250 a month to cover utilities and insurance. That is paid a tear. Did I say that right? A, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, that's so. like a like a nice fancy condo in Chicago. Yeah. We should know that is. I know we should, but I don't. That's it's more a city uh, thing. But um, so he had a he had an apartment in Chicago. NAR's headquarters, obviously, in Chicago. And so he had uh, utility and insurance coverage there at $2,250 a mm-hmm. month. Also, NAR agreed to pay for his pet sitter to watch his dogs when he was away from his home outside of Washington on business. 
Uh, these, this all came, by the way, on top of the salary. Right. So remember, um, the salary is, we'll go back and I'll just pull it up because we have 2022. You got to wait two years for this stuff to come out. If you look at uh, 2022, what did Goldberg come in at? Well, this is saying the extras came on top of his $1.2 million yeah, but, salary. But the So that was the beginning salary. This salary. Went, according to NARS tax return, grow to $2.6 million in five years. Yeah, in 2022, he was paid on salary $2,591,724. This is public information because they're a nonprofit. And so the CEO, we've, we've, when we looked, um, oh, I forget what his name was before Goldberg, but same thing. It'll come to me maybe in a second, hopefully, but same thing. These salaries for the CEO just go up and up and up. They, they, um, they go up, they move up quickly, definitely outpacing yeah. inflation. Um, and they start well beyond what, you know, what you would expect the salaries to start at. So 1.2 million to 2.6 in five years, all of these perks that were negotiated into the deal are coming out on top. Now the New York times, this was an investigation that the New York times conducted. We don't know. We haven't heard from NAR. Um, I put out a post on X saying, Hey, I tagged NAR, like any comment, do we got anything? You guys, you guys got anything for this? What do you got? Um, so Times did this investigation. They found the compensation to be generous. Um, it's in line, though, with a free spending culture at NAR, just like making it rain with the Hundies. Yeah. Well, remember, they're also like, aren't they volunteers? So it's going to get to the vol volunteer thing. Now, I, when I spoke to Kevin Sears, who's the president, the presidents don't make this kind of money, by the way. Okay, the president, you get a one year term, you work up through the ranks for decades, you're an agent, you're in the business, you become the president. Um, and you don't make, you know, when Kevin Sears was, oh no, that was, um, let's just look at 2022 president salary. This was when it was Leslie Smith, 413,000. At the time, Kenny Parcell was the president elect making 265,000. So right now, Kevin Sears is probably making $420,000, $450,000 to be the president. And when I met with him earlier this year and did the interview, I mean, he was on the road every week. Now he says he's got to pay for that. He says he told me you can pay for that. Some of that stuff gets reimbursed, but he told me he had to pay for his dry cleaning. He's like, Cause he's like, oh, I got to, I had to do laundry. I was on the road for three weeks. We had this you know, sidebar conversation. I don't know if this was on yeah. the actual pod or if this was just in when we were. I remember you talking about yeah. that. Yeah. And, um, you know, he said he pays for that out of his pocket, you know, like, and that's where I got, and that's where I was kind of like with him. It's like, if that's the case, you're doing all this work, you're making a reasonable salary to be the president. You're, he is somebody who's trying to, you know, put out video messages to, um, you know, to NAR members. The problem is NAR members have tuned out NAR for so long because they speak within this echo chamber and he's, he's trying though. And if he's doing all this work, how would Kevin Sears feel to know? And I'm not saying Nikea, there's no evidence here or nothing in this investigation that this is what's going on with Nikea, right? The current CEO, right. but how would he feel to know that Goldberg is just like getting a country club? Getting and his wife is getting getting the poodle life. service taken care of. Little two little puppy dogs, poodle. two little puppy dogs taking. They actually hmm. say what kind of dogs are in here, uh, what kind of dogs he has. It's totally not interesting to me, but uh, it's in the mm -hmm. New York Times article. There's interviews with current and former employees uh, and members and elected officials, as well as tax records and Mr. Goldberg's 2017 employment contract. And so that's how they came up with this. They so a combination of the interviews, the employment contract, they they paint a portrait of a nonprofit organization where leaders have come to expect lavish spending and benefits the day they step into the job. So love they don't care. Like they don't care that like 
people that are working hard and that's not that they're not working hard, but like, like they don't care that the money that they're spending is coming from us. No. And, and that's where it's like, Hey, the advocacy stuff, especially when we're required to pay it, like at least in our state, like we have to pay it or we don't get MLS. Like we have to pay it. The argument though, is that NAR dues are 156 per member for 2025. So sometimes when you, when you're, when you're critical of NAR, you'll hear that as a defense, Hey, dues are only 156 bucks and they do a lot for advocacy. Okay, cool. I mean, I totally get it. 156 bucks, not a lot of money. Most agents don't realize it's only 156 bucks because they're in a three-way tie-in agreement with a local and state board and MLS. Um, and that fee is actually when they group in NAR, it's like 600 bucks for the year when they've got to pay. Well, this says to be a member, every realtor in the United States must pay a bundle of dues of about $800 a right. year. So when you bundle it all together, yes, NAR is only $156. And yes, there is a lot of lobbying and advocacy that is to the benefit of home ownership, home sellers, and agents. No question. Uh, so you could probably get that all done at like 60 bucks a year. I mean, to me, Nicole, if you and I each got an extra hundred in our pocket and, you know, I'm in town, maybe, maybe we're doing bar boucher, maybe, you know, some, well, at least I'm not buying like a first class ticket for your wife. <laughs> you know, do you want, I didn't choose that. Yeah. And so, or I don't mind paying the 156. In fact, I don't mind paying 300 if the money is being put to work, if the money actually right. is going towards something, or I don't mind paying 300 to have a higher standard in the industry. Think about that. If let's just use ballpark numbers. If 50% of the 156 is actually going towards something that you think would be useful for homeowners, home buyers, and the agent community, if it's 75 bucks, but you then raised it actually to 300, you could get rid of, because 75 times four would be 300, a little simple math on the real word. You could then get rid of 75% of agents and cover all the same important stuff that you're doing right now. Like you could do a lot apparently with 156 bucks. You know what else you could do? You could hit Hamilton in New York city. Okay. And bring, and bring the whole family. Many NAR leaders use those cards, cards uh, that were given to them, corporate credit cards that are supposed to be on work trips for not only Hamilton, but expensive dinners, golf outings, spa treatments, and sports tickets. Like if you're a for-profit business and, you know, maybe you're building software and technology in real estate and you've built a business, you've built something and it's for-profit and you want to take out some of your clients and you want to go on to a nice fancy dinner and that's part of like, you know, that's maybe that's where you're going to have the meeting or part of the sales pitch or whatever, like right. more power to you. You've built the business. You have the business right. credit card. It's a for-profit business and awesome. But if you're a nonprofit and you're doing this kind of stuff, it using it as an ATM. Yeah. You're using it as an ATM. It raises some eyebrows. So, um, th there were two former staffers, according to this New York times, uh, familiar with the organization's budget that said, that those cards were used not only for themselves for this New York City uh, Hamilton Broadway show, but for relatives. Relatives getting the invite on your dues dime at um, at the time tickets could run in the low four figures because Hamilton had just come on to Broadway in 2015. This is right. going back to that time period, and it was very popular. Now I feel like. <clears throat> Hamilton runs every week. Some people have gone maybe 20 times. It's still a tough. Well, you can see it off Broadway now too. I think it's still a pretty tough ticket to get. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I've only ever seen it off Broadway. Okay. So maybe on Broadway, it's more expensive. I, yeah. I don't know either. Maybe. Yeah. Um, the other former staffers and elected uh, leaders interviewed for this story. Uh, they requested anonymity because they still work there. <laughs> they work there. Okay. They don't want still retaliation. Mantel Williams, who is a uh, spokesman for NAR, 
said the group's elected leaders uh, raised their hands to serve the industry. And this job requires a substantial time commitment, personal sacrifice, and significant travel. He did not address uh, specific questions about perks or spending on items such as massages or these tickets. Um, now, Goldberg resigned as the Wonder chief executive. wonder if he's on the Diddy list. He could be on the Diddy list. Who, Goldberg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's... I don't think so. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know but either. He resigned uh, late last year. He did not respond to multiple requests, according to the New York Times, for a comment. Uh, seven lawyers, though, who specialize in nonprofit law did comment. They said the group spending not only appears excessive, but it may run afoul of tax law. Okay, so you could have this nonprofit, NAR, breaking tax law to give these executive perks. Um, they said this is, uh, it's known among watchers of nonprofits, but it's highly unusual for them to do anything about it, for uh, for them to actually, maybe, maybe we'll see something, but also what's unusual, a nonprofit lawyer said, is for volunteers, leaders of officers to receive compensation at these levels. So not only are the perks, but the compensation levels. Right. Are abnormal. Uh, many of us who practice association antitrust law have always wondered how can they get away with this? This is a nonprofit uh, lawyer, Jeff Tannenbaum in Washington, and he's in DC. <clears throat> so he's right there in, in, um, in the neighborhood with NAR. Um, NAR oversees a network of databases, obviously, and blah, blah, blah. That's, that's just part of the piece, um, piece there. Um, it's not a charitable group, but a nonprofit trade organization, and such groups can fly under the radar of regulators, says another lawyer based in Ithaca, New York, Carrie Polak. So she also specializes in nonprofit. So it's unusual for <clears throat> this to really get flagged. Now with everything going on, there's obviously more eyeballs on it. New York Times has been very aggressive in the reporting of NAR. And so, Nicole, do you read this and just say, yeah, this is – a hundred percent happening. I have zero doubts. Like it's, it's happening. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I don't always believe everything I read, but I'm pretty certain that the New York Times wouldn't print and lies. Well, I'm not. I'm not so sure. I'm certain about that. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I think New York Times could definitely lie, like most mainstream media. Just based on. But no, this is not. This does not surprise me. I think hearing it though, and then like actually it being confirmed, is just even more irritating. You know, it's just it's, it's, it's just really unfortunate. Cause again, I, as a, as a realtor, I've now paid for your dog to be watched and for you to go to a play and for your electric bills, you know, it's just, it's discouraging. There's employees that say, I mean, th this story goes on and on. It's like Goldberg would sometimes show up on zoom calls with his uh, dogs. He had a dog named Tuffy, a miniature pincher. Is that a dog miniature pincher? Yes. Yep. And a Dutch hound Fonzie was the name. So these dogs would mm -hmm. come on to zoom calls and they would, which I don't actually really care about that. Um, but that NAR would pick up the tab for these dogs care when his business would take him away from Clarksville, Maryland. Um, I mean, this is a very long article. You can just, you just keep getting more and more irritated. There's just, it just keeps going. Um, and talking about all these significant, like a, a full trip, uh, all inclusive trip at NAR conventions, former elected leaders said they were encouraged to relax at the St. Regis Hotel in Dana Point, California in 2013. Elected officials golfed on NAR's dime when they stayed at Montage Laguna Beach. And I love Laguna Beach. In 2021, they enjoyed massages at the hotel spa. In Chicago, they got tickets to see the Cubs and the Blackhawks, a little Cubby game. Oh, Chicago Cubbies. Let's go. At the convention and after the convention in San Diego, Boston, New Orleans, and more, there were lavish dinners. Sometimes, Nicole, bottles of $300 wine. Why not? A little Costa Brown, maybe. I don't know. Why not? Might have a little yeah. Costa Brown this week down in, uh, down in the Caribbean. Maybe get a glass. I don't know if I'd be able to I don't know. I think, I think this vacation is going to be very different than others. So, 
<laughs> my vacation? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I should bring Goldberg. Maybe he'll flip the, maybe I, Nakia, right. Come on vacation with me. Flip the right. bell. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this goes on and on and on and on about the lavish spending. I can't even cover it all. I mean, we're talking about. It goes on. And I mean, this is a very large, a lot, long article. Yeah. And so I don't listen. I don't want, I don't expect a CEO of NAR to sit on a plane in the, you know, 30th row next to the bathroom, trying to take a connector to save a couple hundred bucks. Don't expect that. I also don't expect to be paying a CEO who's making, first of all, I don't expect to pay the NAR CEO two and a half million dollars as a salary, let alone flipping the bill on $75,000 for a country club. So you can have three country clubs, one in Maryland, one in DC, one in Chicago. This is where it gets ridiculous. And then that type of culture seeps into everything. It seeps into like, Hey, my buddy's got this, um, media company, they think this commercial would play well and it's going to cost 50 million bucks a year. Should we do it? Yeah. Who, I mean, who cares? It ain't our money. It's, your, sure. it's these dumb agents. It's their money. Right. So there's, and so when you started the pod and you said, Hey, you know, you were just being very nice saying, Hey, you want to, you want to get in inside and see more, the more I do get into NAR, get inside the, the blob the more excess I see. And it actually is not encouraging me to push away. It is encouraging me to go deeper in. I'm sure. And see, um, see if I can get some bottles of wine. Nah. <laughs> see if I can make, help make some change, you know, like we're, yeah. we're in business, we're creating stuff, you know, we're, we're doing work. And so right. we'll buy our own wine, but I want to get in to help fix this thing and have an open conversation because you know, unfortunately, Kevin said he, he likes the commercials. Although when you, when you ask people off from NAR, if those commercials do anything, you know, if they're worth anything, they don't, they, they never say that they do. They don't even know. Do they even know? They no, they're they just like, even... yeah, they're crappy commercials, but, yeah. uh, but we got to get the message out there. No, there's other ways to get the message out there. There's, there's ways, especially in this world to be very creative and be impactful. And so now Goldberg is identifying himself as an executive consultant for the association. I got to imagine that's got to happen on the golf course only. I'm I'm certain of that. You know, he didn't pick very warm weather golf courses though. DC and and <laughs> Chicago. Bob, you got to Well, I mean, he couldn't he couldn't be that obvious, you know. He has to at least pick spots that he's doing. <laughs> you got to figure that out. But you're assuming these are golf clubs. Like they might not be golf clubs. Yeah. Well, one of them did say country club. But you were talking about the new dinner club down in uh, down in Naples. Like it could be a dinner club. It could be a dinner club. Yeah. It could be just. It could be a cigar club. It could be like a. It could be any kind of club. We're not talking about golf. It doesn't have to be just a golf club. It's very true. Lots of clubs. A lot yeah. of ways to indulge. I mean, we'll, we'll yep. see what the um, industry's reaction is to this. This just came out today, so. Yeah, uh, we'll follow this and see where it leads. But I'd encourage I, I am. I'm not ready to encourage everybody to waste their time, maybe at their local and national level, if they're not passionate about seeing this thing change. But I am I'm getting closer and closer to maybe figuring out some type of message where we can kind of band together to fix this and get rid of the excess that lives inside of our own association if that association is here to stay which by all metrics that is the case we're talking about again we covered it last week the fourth highest level of membership so i don't know we'll, we'll watch let us know what you think uh is this excessive do you think that there's room for explanation from nar uh if you do what would that explanation be let us know in the comments and Maybe we'll react to all of that uh, on the next one. But I'm going on vacation, Nicole. That's. I mean, you deserve that. <laughs> NAR, by the way, I'm not sitting first class, which is a disappointment for me. Well, that's because you have children and a wife, too. Children, I mean, yeah. So there you go. Uh, We're not I will see you guys next time. Nicole, thank you. See you next time. Yeah.
Yep. See you guys. Keep it real. Let us know what you think. Agents looking to stand out from the crowd and from the marginal agent? Reminder Media is a resource you need to check out. You get your own branded print and digital magazines, email newsletters, and social media content. Reminder Media delivers these resources to your contacts on autopilot, keeping you top of mind with your database. All you need to do is focus on your relationships and your follow-ups and watch referrals and repeat business come in. My team uses the service where we do over 500 transactions a year. 50% of those transactions come from people we know, and we stay top of mind with Reminder Media. Use the link down below to try Reminder Media. At BAMX, we listen to what real estate professionals want and need. That's why our platform is filled with sought after courses, content, and tactical assets for your business. And that's why we launched BAMX in a box with templates and scripts done for you, delivered each Friday. The best part? It's not coming from panel pontificators who bought their followers and don't sell any real estate. It's coming from top agents, team leaders, and content creators in the industry. It's education that actually shows you how to do what you need in today's market. And now it includes editable templates and scripts so you can easily deliver that knowledge to your database. Every day, we continue to add more content into BAMX, into our private Facebook community, content that works, content that our members have exclusive access to daily. So do not wait any longer. Use code REALWORD and join the thousands of agents taking their business to the next level today. Code REALWORD for 10% off. I'll see you in BAMX.